up. What happened today was my family brought me to the airport, but before that, we ate dinner at the Sorts World at our favorite Italian restaurant there. It's called Parmigiano. And then it was really fun just having my family there like one last time before I leave for three weeks. I know it sounds really dramatic, but we just like doing that. It's kind of tradition every time so one of us goes abroad. We always eat at Parmigiano at the Sorts World just because it's near the airport and it's convenient for everybody. So we had some really good pasta, pizza, and Bianca ordered risotto, which we all kind of shared. Afterwards, we had some crepes at uh, crepes and cream, I think. Crepes and ice cream, I'm not entirely sure. I ordered the peaches and cream, and then they dropped me off at Naia Terminal 1. Everyone was kind of telling me before I left that, oh my god, I can't believe you're traveling alone, and I feel like it's kind of time to just try traveling alone again. The first time I did, I was around, I think, 18. So, yeah, now that I'm 23, let's just see how it goes. I've been talking a lot just because I feel like I really just want to document this entire experience. Even if it's a city I've already been to before, I feel like the older you get, the more varied your experiences are of a certain place. So yeah, I'm really just excited to go. I'm waiting at the boarding gate and I was lucky enough to be able to get exit row seats. Originally, I wanted to kind of pay a little extra for the bulkhead seats, which are normally the seats with most legroom. But then when I asked the check-in counter, staff I guess they told me that there were actually some extra row seats that I could avail of so that's what I did and now I have a little more leg room which I'm kind of happy about I'll see you on the plane I guess <laughs> I'm in Incheon International Airport right now and nothing is open yet. Everything kind of opens in 30 minutes, so yeah, there's that. And if you notice that I have a little bit more of a lisp than normal, it's because I'm wearing my retainers. It feels super grimy. I kind of just want to take a bath. So I'm waiting for the free shower area to open up and just get clean because my flight is at 10.30, around 10.30 and right now it's only 6.30 so I have quite a ways to go. I'm just trying not to fall asleep before my flight because I'm so scared I'm gonna miss it. I will see you after I refresh. So I just finished taking a bath and that was the most refreshing experience I've ever had. I felt so grimy after the flight from Manila to Incheon and I mean when it gets to a certain point you just feel really gross. Airplanes aren't really the cleanest places to be. So to have that free transit shower service is really convenient and Actually, the lady at the shower booth or stall or whatever, she's really friendly and she actually told me that the west wing is a lot less busy than the east wing where there's another shower stall slash area. There still was kind of a wait. I think I waited around maybe 30 minutes to an hour, but there are multiple showers and everyone's time is limited to 30 minutes in the shower. It's very basic. There's a toilet, there's a sink, there's a shower, two types of shower heads, and then they offer soap and shampoo. And they even give you toothpaste, a toothbrush, and a towel to dry yourself off with. And 10 over 10 would recommend if you guys ever find yourself on a transit flight and you stop over at Incheon, don't forget to try to make use of the free shower services. So right now, I'm currently in the food court area of Incheon. I'm not entirely sure which terminal I'm in, but I ordered like a tonkatsu set and it was only 9,000 won, which is pretty good. I'm gonna go eat now and then I'll just update you right before I'm about to board.